comedians are the new rock stars in a sense. Um, you can see them now filling vast arenas. Well, that didn't happen before. And saying that, what's in what seems to be important about the comedy aspect of this, as in a stand up comedian, is really what is happening is what happens when the notion of television takes over. You know what I mean? You could be playing in a small open mic uh, comedy store for the rest of your days and do whatever you want and be happy enough with that. The more successful you get and the idea that you eventually play a bigger audience is televised or you get on a game show must necessarily change your material. And, and you can see that. Uh, I mean, a good example of that uh, is that game show Mock the Week, where they, nobody ever said this, but you knew finality was happening. I mean, they had to get rid of Frankie Boyle, because Frankie Boyle was just too dangerous to be on the TV. And whether they got rid of him or whether he knew he had to go, it's the same thing. Because he's sitting there thinking, I'd like to answer these things in a different way than I am. And I'm edgy enough as it is on the TV, you know. And it's that, you know, it, it, television dilutes things, I think. Uh, it dilutes not only comedy, it, it dilutes drama in a certain way. Um, it makes it, the drama of television is quite specific in that mainly it's to do with shock. Um, there's a certain sort of, how would you put this? Uh, there's a formula to television. And the formula is that they want to appeal to the widest audience. If you want to appeal to the widest audience, everybody's frightened of who they might offend. 